Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a great uh, start to your Saturday morning this uh, today. And uh, as I always like to say, uh, enjoy the day, have fun today with your family, and uh, so that tomorrow you can ha have fun with your family, all of you going to church. I'm pretty sure tomorrow's supposed to be a nice day, and uh, so uh, no reason to stay at home. So I get ready to go to church and have a great time. I I'd like to read this this morning. I'd like to read Matthew 7, 7 and 8, well-known verses, and I think you'll uh, enjoy it. And uh, so yeah, uh, the word of God says as follows, Ask and it shall be given you, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. So uh, this morning, I just want to, you know, just leave a few words with you as I usually do. And uh, I hope that uh, you can apply this to your life in, in a manner that will get you closer to the Lord. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's let's get into into the study for just just a few minutes, a few moments, all right. And uh, Matthew seven says seven seven, like I said, says to knock, ask, seek, and knock. And I was reading this word this this week earlier, and um, I ran across some scriptures that I like. But uh, uh, you know, when we start off this particular uh, a verse, uh, Luke eleven five through thirteen, you know, it's it, it's. Uh, and we're talking about the asking part, okay? The, ask, the asking part. So in Luke 11, chapters 5 through 13, there's the story of the man that went and asked his friend for three loaves of bread to help another friend in need. And, you know, but he just didn't go and ask, you know. But when he went to this friend's house, he he went and he kept, he knocked he knocked on the door. But more, more, more than just knocking, he was yelling out, Hey, get up! You know, I got a friend at the house and I'm wondering if you can help me out a little bit with some food so I can feed my other friend. Because he's been on a long journey and he's tired, this that, and the other, and 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 this guy, the one that was uh, doing the asking, he had a great need. You know, he had a he had a heart for people, but unfortunately, his as far as his supplies were concerned, they were they, he was low on supplies, so he went to the to to the, the friend's house that he knew had, had some bread and some food that could help him out, and he stood outside the door and he knocked, but most most of all, he was he was asking him out loud, Hey, can you help me out? Can you help me out? Come on, get up and and, and, and help me out. And of course, the man in the house was saying, hey, you need to go away. I've been sleeping. I'm tired. I've had a long day. I really don't want to get up. But eventually, because that guy was out there still yelling and, and, and asking and, 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 and probably saying pretty please and all this and, and the other, he, the, the, the man of the house finally said, well, you know, just so this guy will leave me alone, I'm going to get up, give him what he wants so he can be on the way. And so, uh, so he did. He gave him three loaves and sent him on the way. Who, who knows what other stuff he gave him? But uh, so the man left happy. But what I'm trying to get to here is is that this man kept asking and asking and asking. And sometimes, guys, if you want something from God, we're going to have to ask and ask and ask and ask. I don't think it's because God wants us to beg him for it. You know, I don't think it's because God says, oh, you know, uh, you know, I'm better than you are. I don't feel like giving you anything today. No, I think sometimes it's it's God just trying to test our faith. Okay. Trying to test our, do we trust him or not, as I usually touch on that, and whether we believe him or not for, for what he has for us, okay? And so uh, this man received what he wanted, and he was able from one, he went from one friend who had uh, food to another friend that had a need for, for food, okay? And uh, so anyway, he, he was persistent as far as asking, okay, uh, for, for, for the great need. It wasn't for him, it was for somebody else, so yeah, so... Uh, that man gave him food, and of course, you know, he went home and fed the other one. But he was very persist persistent about asking, and, and sometimes that's the way we have to be with the Lord. We just have to be stubborn about, hey, we shouldn't quit, guys. If there's a need that you have in your life, okay, ask God and, and, and keep asking. I mean, don't, don't quit after the first time or the second time or the third time or the fourth time, maybe on the tenth time. And like I said, only God knows the reason. Sometimes you'll get an answer quick. Sometimes it will be a delay, Okay. But just just stay uh, stay focused, okay? Because God will come through for you. He'll come through for us. Now, the second part of this was was, was seek. And I was reading earlier this week, and, and I was reading in the book of Deuteronomy. I was reading in chapter 4, verse 29. And, you know, Deuteronomy is really a, 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 a summary of, of what the, the children of Israel went, went through in the desert, okay? And uh, so we get to this uh, verse... Uh, 29 in chapter 4 and it says as follows but if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God 
thou shalt find him, okay? If you seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Now, this is this this is an example of the way we need to seek God. The writer here says, the Holy Spirit says here, that, that we should seek God with all our heart and with all our soul. And sometimes when we come to God, we don't, unfortunately, there's a lot of people that come to God half-hearted, okay? They really don't, uh, they want what they, what they need, okay? They're, they're asking that for which they need and, and what they want and what they desire because it's important in their lives, whatever the thing may be, health, healing, uh, finances, a job, whatever it is may be. But sometimes we just, I mean, you know, we, we, we're not, we're not, I, I, not can, I think I can actually say this, sometimes we're just not serious with God or the way we're asking, or the way we're seeking, or the way we bring a petition before God. Sometimes we do it half-hearted, not really into it, guys. But if you're serious about receiving a blessing, you need to be serious about how the way, of how it is that you ask God what you need, okay? And this particular verse says, uh, again in Deuteronomy 4, 29 says, if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. And when you ask God, uh, for a petition to answer a petition or a prayer request or a prayer need do you really do it in this manner do you really seek with ask him with all your heart and all all your soul i mean do you pour yourself out in the presence of god okay do you really give god uh the reasons bona fide reasons with a heartfelt uh desire okay for his help okay that's something to ask ourselves okay that's something that that we need to ask ourselves, and, and we should ask God in that manner. Now, the third one, of course, is to knock. And this uh, on a knock, I went over to Acts twelve sixteen, because I like what Peter. If, if this particular story up in, uh, on chapter twelve is a story about when when Peter was in prison, and uh, the church was praying for him, and uh, Peter was praying for himself, and, uh, and finally in the middle of the night, you know, the angel of God comes in and releases Peter. Okay releases Peter, brings him to the house where the people, where the church of God was, 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 was praying for Peter. And uh, so he, he gets out there to the door, comes out there to the door because he knew where they were at. So he starts to knock and to knock and to knock and to knock. And he, and some of the, the some of you that have read the story, you know what the story is all about. So uh, a particular young lady comes and answers uh, the door, or answers the door because uh, she could hear somebody knocking at the door. So she won't, goes out there and, and she thought she, she recognized the man that was there, and then she says, uh, wait a minute, are you Peter? And Peter said, yes, it's me. Open the door. Open the door. And, and uh, I mean, she was so excited, so full of emotion, because Peter was actually not in jail. He was at the front of the door. She got so excited, she ran back to the people and told the people there at the particular house, and they all, and they all doubted that Peter was out there. But finally, Peter came out. I mean, uh, the people came out to Peter. And when they saw him, of course, they were happy and joyful, this, that, and the other. But it took them a while to come and answer the door, to really actually open the door for Peter. But Peter, uh, what we learn from Peter here is that, that he kept knocking on the door, knocking on the door, saying, hey, come on, let me in. I got to get inside. I, you know, I don't want the soldiers to see me. Uh, you know, an angel of God freed me, and, and he brought me here, and, and this, that, and the other. And come on, I want to go in. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I, I just want to celebrate with you because God is the one that took me out of that prison cell okay so he kept knocking and knocking and knocking and knocking until finally you know, these hard-headed people that were asking for peter to be released finally came and, and and they believed the girl and or didn't believe the girl and went out there to the to the gate and saw peter themselves and so they let peter in but the thing that we learned from this story is that peter didn't quit knocking he kept knocking and knocking and knocking and knocking finally god finally they they opened the door if you're persistent with god God will open the door for you, okay? Sometimes it's about asking because, you know, people say, uh, the only, uh, people that know the Bible, nearly got tongue-tied there, um, you know, they say that the word ask here means to keep on asking, and the word seek means to keep on seeking, and the word knock means to keep on knocking. So it's not always a quick answer, guys, that you're going to get, but the answer will come. And, you know, uh, the last part to this is, you know, it takes patience, guys. Asking, seeking, and knocking takes patience, okay? And so I just want you to understand that. Be patient with God. Be patient with yourself. Be, fat, be patient with the circumstances around you because God will give you the victory. It says in, in uh, oh, in the book of James chapter, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, says that 
uh, that the trying of your uh, of your faith work is patience. Okay, so sometimes when we need things from God, we need to be patient about believing that He's going to come through for us because He will. You know, verse four says that. But let patience have her perfect work. Again, emphasis on patience. Whenever you're asking and seeking and knocking at the door of God, at God's door, at God, at, at God's heavenly door, okay. Uh, yeah, be patient. Uh, like I said, some of you may get the answer immediately over whatever it is, from health to prosperity. I have no idea. Or, and some of us may have to wait, you know. But either way, God will come through. And I just want to leave it with that, that with you this morning. I know there's people out there this morning that need some answers from God. But I encourage you, just keep asking, seeking, and knocking. Have patience, and I believe your answer will come through because your answer is already on the way. Okay? So good. That's all I wanted to share with you this morning. I hope you that you apply this lesson to your life. And like I said, and like I always like to say, uh, just remember these scriptures and uh, do a little bit more study on them. And I believe you'll be blessed and you'll grow in it and you'll be encouraged by the Word of God. Uh, especially, uh, you know, Matthew 7, uh, chapter 7, verses 7 and 8 and the other uh, verses I gave you. Before we sign off, I'd like to say the sinner's prayer. So won't you join me? Stand in the gap for somebody. Let's get somebody to, know, to, to, to come to Jesus this morning. Let's believe somebody's going to come to Jesus this morning. Okay, so just repeat after me. Dear Jesus, I come to you as a sinner that knows that you can and will forgive me my sins. I believe you are the Son of God and that you died for me on the cross. Please come into my heart today. Right now, I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that you are my Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Congratulations are in order. You found the answer. You found the Lord. Hey, tell somebody about what you did this morning. If you gave your life to the Lord, tell somebody. Uh, people, Some people will be happy. Some people won't be so happy. Okay, but hey, that doesn't make a difference. You're saved and you're on your way to heaven and the journey's just going to get sweeter and sweeter every single day. Okay, my name is Peter Flores, P.O. Box 2483, Hereford, Texas, 79045 is my mailing address. If you've got a testimony you'd like to share with us, do so. I'd love to read a testimony over this podcast. Maybe your testimony will bring somebody to Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, so this morning, please, I, I encourage you guys, keep listening to the podcast. I believe there, there a there'll be a blessing to you. And I believe that if you hit that subscribe button, we can get some more people. Okay, get, let, let, let's get some more people uh, into the uh, subscribe section. And uh, of course, hit the thumbs up button and hit the chair button. And uh, yeah, God willing, we'll see you next week. And you have a great day. And all I can say right now is bye-bye.